Well, good afternoon, everybody. I want to welcome you to the City Hall here in Brockton as we uh, proudly celebrate Irish Heritage Day as Sunday is fast approaching, uh, which is St. Patrick's Day. So uh, as, a, as an Irish American, uh, I'm proud to be here today. Uh, but I also want to say that on Sunday, everybody's Irish, right? So uh, Sidney O'Mara will be celebrating on, uh, on Sunday. Uh, but I want to thank Senator Mike Brady, and, and you'll hear from the Senator in just a little bit. I want to thank City Clerk Tim Cruz uh, as well. I want to thank each and every one of you for always recognizing the diversity and the wonderful uh, aspects of Brockton. What makes Brockton Brockton is people coming from all around the world. Uh, today, uh, I am uh, happy to uh, celebrate Irish Heritage Day. Uh, I was born at the Brockton Hospital. I'm an American citizen, but I also carry my Irish citizenship. Uh, I'm a dual citizenship. I'm proud to uh, have that as my, uh, my paternal grandparents, my dad's mom and dad came from Ireland. My mom was from up in the west in County Mayo. Uh, the, uh, the village is, is Ballyhanas, uh, and La Caro is where her, uh, her village was. But also my grandfather from Waterford in Capaquin is where he came from. And then on my mom's side, uh, the Noonans and uh, the Reardons came from Cork and from Mill Street. So from an Irish citizen standpoint, I'm just so thrilled to be here today. I am all also uh, excited to be able to just share some information about the wonderful people that came here to Brockton and to the city, to the county, to the Commonwealth, to the country. The gigantic wave of Irish immigrants uh, came to the United States again, fleeing the Great Famine. Uh, the 1840s and 1850s, and by the late 1800s and early 1900s, the Irish population in Brockton was enormous. Matter of fact, the building we're in right now, a lot of the masons and craftsmen were, were Irish immigrants that came here. Well, it's true that many of the Irish immigrants in America were able to uh, go into public service, uh, police and politics and teaching, uh, but it wasn't always that way. Uh, in the early 1800s, uh, Irish men and women uh, struggled uh, where it was commonplace to see signs that said no Irish need apply. Despite the harsh uh, culture climate at the time, the Irish were committed to per persevering and, and really uh, expressing the cultures, traditions, and values that they learned over in the Republic of Ireland. The traditions and values uh, are here today, and we acknowledge those, we celebrate those, we promote those values of hard work and education and family and friends and just so much more. The Irish were really among the group of immigrants that helped establish Brockton's uh, economic uh, vi vitality. Uh, they have served our city well over the years. Today we have many, many elected officials, both on the local, state, county, and federal levels who uh, proudly proclaim their Irish descendant, uh, working hard to make the community a better place for all. It truly goes without saying that I am a proud Irish American. At this time, I'm going to ask another proud Irish American, Senator Mike Brady, to come to the podium. Senator. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And you uh, did a good job telling a lot of the history of our Irish immigrants and our Irish ancestors. My family on my Irish side, because I hold a few different nationalities in my blood, but uh, my Irish descent. My mother was a Durkin, and that family came from County Mayo. And then my father, being a Brady, was from County Cavan. But that was three generations back. So my family's been in the district for quite some time. But I'm just honored to be here. And I'm wearing a tie of our good friend Thomas P. Kennedy, who was very proud of his Irish heritage. And uh, I'm honored to wear his tie during this high holy month of St. Patrick's Day. And it's also evacuation day. So I'm just grateful to be here and uh, very honored because this whole city was built with immigrants, and we must never forget our history, and I'm glad to be amongst us Irishmen and women of the city of Brockton and the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. God bless you. Thank you. So a week ago today here at City Hall, we recognized uh, the Brave 13 uh, that gave their lives to the Strand Theater um, fire. And Again, when we look at the names, uh, Irish descendants, some that actually emigrated from the old country and some that were, were born here. Um, I also want to, again, thank um, Tim Cruz for his public service. He's the city clerk now, but for many, many years, he was a dedicated Ward 1 city councilor. Uh, Mr. Clerk, would you like to say some words? Since we're telling my people came from the same village as uh, his grandmother, or great-grandmother, I guess, yeah. grandmother, 
Valley Harness in County Mayo. But I do want to, I was asked to extend greetings from, I guess we would call the ranking Brockton uh, Irish person right now. Ambassador Claire Cronin sends her best wishes. A proud, a proud resident of Brockton, and she's now our ambassador to Ireland. And right as we speak, she's sitting in the Oval Office in meetings with the president and the uh, TSOC from uh, the, with the Prime Minister of Ireland. So she sends her regards, and uh, happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. So at this time, I'd, I'd like to read an official mayoral proclamation, uh, and it, it goes as follows. Whereas during the 18th and 19th centuries, uh, individuals of Irish heritage uh, migrated across the Atlantic in pursuit of the opportunity. Whereas throughout history, Irish Americans have contributed an immeasurable amount of hard work and value to the cultural landscape of the United States of America, Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and the city of Brockton. Whereas our vibrant Irish American community has truly made tremendous contributions and past and future contributions to the city of Brockton. Whereas this month and throughout the year, the city of Brockton is proud to celebrate the contributions of Irish Americans, and we encourage citizens, residents, visitors, business owners to learn more about the pivotal role that they played in the history of our fine city. Now, therefore, I, Robert F. Sullivan, as mayor of the city of Brockton, proudly proclaim today, March 15th, and again on Sunday, March 17th, in the city of Brockton is Irish Heritage Day, and I urge all residents in the city to please respectfully join me in observing this special day, signed and sealed the 15th day of March, year 2024, Robert F. Sullivan. I want to uh, ask a clerk, the clerk's had some, uh, some struggles recently. He's back, he's better than ever. I'm going to ask uh, Clerk Cruz if he could proudly raise the flag, and uh, myself and the Senate will accompany him. Again, I do want to thank all of the uh, wonderful city uh, employees that always come down uh, to these flag raisings. I want to thank BCA, Brockton Community Access. They don't need, need to be here, but they always do because they also recognize the importance of our wonderful, diverse, uh, inclusive city of champions. So enjoy yourself this weekend on Sunday. Uh, enjoy St. Patrick's Day. God bless each and every one of you in our fine city of Brockton. Thank you.